Hey guys, welcome back to the Migo YouTube channel. Today I'm looking at the best lights that I have tested for a 5x5 or 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter grow area. All the lights have been tested by me in a 5x5 area. Each light at its manufacturer's recommended hanging height for the optimum setup for each light, which will be different. I don't go into a lot of detail about the LED types or the spectrum. Most of these grow lights are using a combination of white LEDs and red. 660 nanometer deep reds. Spectrums are all suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. There are some with some variable spectrum that I will mention, you know, addition, added UVA or far red or whatever. In terms of the calculation and how I've ordered these, so they're from the least expensive, sorry, from the most expensive to run and own up to the least expensive, so it's the best value list. Calculation is based on delivering 800 micromoles average in a five by five area and the cost of doing so over three years. And that's the combined fixture cost and the electricity cost to run them for 12 hours a day at the average US electricity price of 16.8 cent per kilowatt hour at uh, 12 hours per day. So it's uh, it's trying to show you the total ownership cost. Some costs, some lights may cost more upfront because they're more efficient, but less to run uh, and vice versa. First light on the list, it's a European light that's now available in the US as well called Sunlight, manufacturer based in Austria. And they have their Evo range. And this is two of their Evo 5s in a 5x5. Five five. Pretty expensive fixtures at $1,290 for a pair of those Evo 5s. 664 watts. Good efficiency there, 2.43. Delivering an average power of 716. But uh, overall, um, you know, because of the high fixture cost, they're quite expensive uh, over that three years. Then we have the Lumatech or Photon Tech. So Lumatech being the UK or EU brand, Photon Tech being the US one, very established company. First one is their 600 watt Pro, 626 watts. They're $1,000 at the moment. Good efficiency though, 2.33. Very high quality light, but uh, as I said, high fixture cost puts it down at the lower end of the list. Then we have the XT1000 by Lumatech and Photon. Tech. That's 1,014 watts, $1,700, 2.45 system efficiency, delivering an average power of 1,103, right up into that zone where you know anything above 1,000 uh, micromoles should be considering running a closed system with enhanced levels of CO2. But yeah, very nice high quality fixture. Then we have the Horta Bloom Mega Eco. 720, uh, 714 watts for $799, so pretty good value for money there, but a relatively low efficiency, one of the lowest on this list of 2.11, delivering a relatively low average power of 669 micromoles. It's a robust fixture, solid, and does have added infrared channel, which can be switched separately. But uh, as I said, the low efficiency is uh, giving it a high running cost, resulting in, in being fairly low on this list. Then we have the HLG uh, 650 Scorpion Diablo. Uh, HLG being ran from a long, for a long time, US company. This one is 660 watts, $1,300. Uh, it's a pretty expensive, but a very good efficiency of 2.7 usable PPF per watt, or usable power per watt. High price now for for these days. Old type format as well, it has those quantum boards mounted on the aluminium plate. Bit heavy as a fixture and don't really allow um, for great airflow and great spread in my opinion. Then we have the Horta Bloom Solux 650, 633 watt fixture for just under $700. This is a kind of a compact fixture, I think used to place HPS fixtures. So for use in greenhouses and in grow rooms where they're, they're mounted up high, because the compact fixture with two LED boards and uh, lens frontage. Relatively low wattage though of 2.15 and relatively low average power of 607 micromoles. Then you have the Floraflex uh, 650 8 bar. Big company Floraflex in the US came out a couple of years ago with their LED range and this was the first of them. It's uh, 675 watts now, $804. Good efficiency though, 2.37, nice neat fixture and uh, delivering an average power of 726 micromoles. You then have the Spider Farmer SE1000, just under a thousand watts and just over a thousand dollars. So really good value for money. 2.3 efficiency, which is good. Not the nicest looking fixture. I have an issue with some of these spider farmer ones with the um, you know the the screw in bars and lots of wires and stuff. 
just from an anesthetic point of view, it offends me a little bit, but yeah, solid fixture. Next one, Tubu Lightmine Leaf, 800 watt, 702 watts from $659, a good value for money here. Relatively low efficiency at 2.24 GMOs per watt. Available direct on Alibaba, that one. But of course you've got those extra fees for shipping and import duties and all that stuff. We again got the HLG Diablo X. This is a 1717 watt fixture for $1,299, so quite expensive. However, it is incredible efficiency, 2.89. You know, this model increased in power compared to the old one and includes the white reflectors on the side of the QB boards to improve efficiency and spread. Six quantum boards, bit of an old design. As I said, that efficiency is outstanding and good spread too. Next, the Grow Planner, 640 watt, 600. 27 watts tested for $549, so very good value for money in terms of dollar per watt. 2.22 efficiency was a little low these days. The six bar fixture with the um, LED bars clipping into that central beam with the drivers. Relatively low average power there of 619, not really getting the most out of your um, area. Then the PowerFact works ZE700, so 695 watts for $665, so good price in terms of dollars per watt. 2.29 efficiency, so pretty good. And um, this one now has a veg, a flower, and UVA switches on them. So if you're looking for some variable spectrum, it could be the one for you. It's a bit old now, um, but a good quality fixture with decent efficiency. Then have the Hydro Farm, Photo Bio MX, Hydro Farm, big US uh, company, 680 watt fixture now for $680, so good price. 2.32 efficiency, which is pretty good. Nice wide LED bars on it. A really nice looking fixed track, just the white one, with that nice driver casing running down the center and uh, delivering an average power of 703 micromoles, which is not bad. Then we have the Mammoth Mint Evo. Uh, Mammoth, pretty well known now these days. Uh, 680 watts this fixture. $800, 2.52 efficiency, which is uh, which is good for that price. This has the sought after uh, Samsung LM301H Mint Evos, just a few of them now. And there are claims around these that they shift the blue peak from 450 to 437 nanometers. And this delivers higher photosynthetic efficiency, stimulates production of secondary metabolites, and the spectrum inhibits the growth of bacteria and fungi. I have a struggle with taking all that on board, but uh, that's the claim, and uh, yeah, but not a bad fixture at all. Then we had the Volcro, yeah, American general lighting company that have uh, gone into the grow lighting area with their Storm 8. 746 watt fixture for uh, just under thousand dollars. 2.65 efficiency, which is outstanding for that price. Clip-in LED bars and a driver that mounts on the back of the fixture. So a good average power of uh, 878 micromoles, but uh, it's a relatively high price, I suppose, for that um, for that wattage. Then we have the Mars Hydro FC 6500, 70, 744 watts for $700, so really good price, 2.36 efficiency. It's their folding commercial light, so um, comes assembled, just unfolded, nicer looking than a lot of the other ones. Um, and this has the dimmer control that is um, compatible with the Bluetooth app. Be interested to hear what you think of that app. I've heard some issues with it. Yeah, good value fixture um, with those features. We then have the GML Vulcan Nitro. This again, outstanding efficiency and a good price. So 736 watts for $1,100. 2.78 efficiency, which is really good, and has a separate far red um, channel. Delivers 910 micromoles across the uh, the grow area, which is really good. It'll um, deliver a nice nice yield. That. Then we have another Velcro fixture, the FL1. This is 625 watt fixture, so a bit low for a five by five. Okay, efficiency at 2.23. Has uh, onboard dimming. Control multiple fixtures together. Yeah, 731 average power, so not bad. Then we have the Photonition Aurora 2000, 684 watts for $599. So really good value in terms of dollars per watt and good efficiency at 2.4. That's delivering an average power of 730 micromoles. So uh, all taken in, it's a, it's a nice fixture, uh, good value. Then we have the brand new HLG Tomahawk 720 watts. So this is the first bar fixture HLG I've brought out. 727 
watts for uh, $1,000. Very good efficiency at 2.79 usable PPF per watt and uh, 901 micromoles average across the grow area. Remember, if the, remember the, the HLG has those uh, LED bars with those reflectors on them, so it delivers a good spread too. We then have the GML Tarantula Tent Ultimate. This is the really big wattage fixture, 1,000 watts, an exceptionally good efficiency, 2.72 micromoles per watt. And it's a very good value for that efficiency, but delivers an average power of 1,239 micromoles, moles, which is up in that zone where really you'd, you'd need to be using CO2 to take advantage of that high power intensity. We then have the GML Tarantula Vulcan Magma, uh, 707 watts for $1,100. And this is the highest efficiency of any of the lights on this list at 3.06 micromoles per watt. I use with PPF per watt, which I never actually thought would be broken, that three number. So exceptionally good efficiency. We then have our own, or my own, Array 5x5, just over there, you can see it. Uh, 750 watts for 649. So I tried to hit a good balance between performance and price. So it's a 2.52 usable PPF per watt so trying to get it on on both ends if you know what i mean so it's a good value but also delivering good efficiency remote drivers is standard um keeps them cool extra wide led bars to uh, run the LEDs um, cool. Then uh, Grow Light Science, the ProGrow 1800. Incredible value for money, uh, 672 watts, $420. It's just unbelievable in terms of the dollars per watt for that fixture. And uh, good efficiency too, 2.4. Very well built, Samsung White's LED E-Star, uh, 660 nanometer reds and a high efficiency driver. You know, it's ETL listed and DLC uh, certified. So, you know, suitable for commercial setups. And um, I believe that's where it's mainly focused in sales. Then have at the very top, the best value grow light, the Spider Farmer G8600. 867 watts for $659. Again, very good value for the um, fixture cost in terms of dollars per watt. Very good efficiency too, 2.57. Delivering an average power of 989. So outstanding um, value for money there. It's got that assembled bar type with bars screwed in individually and then individually wired. So a little bit messy looking, but uh, you know, you get what you pay for. And in this case, it's a very good value for money. So I hope you enjoyed, long list. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me if you did. Very interested to hear if you've had any of these lights, if you've had them running, how you found them in terms of reliability, quality, performance, all that kind of stuff. Be really interested. Let other growers know in the comments how you've got on. Uh, it'd be really helpful. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Take care.